Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 815. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, Excel Magic Trick 815 to 818, click on the link below the video. Hey, we want to talk about looking up when you have case sensitive items to look up. So here's the items we want to look up, and we need to return for little rad, we need to return a 17, but for big rad, we need to return a 63. The V lookup. Let's try that. This uh, V for vertical. This is the vertically oriented table. Lookup value. I'm going to look up rad, relative cell reference, comma, table array, that whole thing there, and hit the F4 key to lock it. Comma, the item I want to return is in the second column, so I put a 2. And comma, these words are not sorted alphabetically, so I'm going to put a 0 for exact match. 17. The problem with this, of course, when I double click and send it down, is it doesn't distinguish between big rad and little rad, so it only returns the first one. So we're going to have to do something different here. Um, let's just look at the exact function. The exact function is great because you ask it any question and it will give you the exact correct answer. Oh, no, no, no. It just takes two text strings and it will tell you whether they're exactly the same, including case sensitive, false. right? So that's false because they're not the same. And this one, oh, I meant to do uh, rad. All right, so little rad, little rad, it sees these two things and says, yes, they are the same. So this function here is clearly seen big R and little r as different. And these are ASCII characters, so they do have a number that is different. Little r and big R can be different, but most oh. functions, or even true-false formulas, in fact, I should have had one other uh, copy. I should cop. I should have just copied these down here. And this, would, these will be just straight logical formulas. Logical. Uh, let's see. Uh, equals this equals this, and I have some other videos on comparative operators that show this, but it'll see this as the same. So straight logical formulas don't distinguish between case. I think I got a frog in my throat. <coughs> All right. <coughs> We're going to have to somehow use the exact then. Now notice I need to say, hey, exact function, boom, RAD. Can you find that here? Well, I'm going to go ahead and just build the inside of the formula. We'll use the exact. I'm going to say, hey, boom, that's the first text, comma. Now, it's expecting a single text string, but watch this. I'm just going to give it all of them, and I'm going to F4. Now, in edit mode, I'm going to highlight this and hit the, whoops, F9 is hitting pause on my video recorder. So I go up to formulas, and then right here, I'm going to evaluate. So you can see clearly that it is an array because we put more than one item into that uh, argument there, but it sees that there's a true there. So it found the little rat. I'm going to control Z. So the fact that we put more than one item into this text, um, a range of cells here, means it's an array formula. Now I'm going to do something tricky here. I'm going to look up. Notice if I hit this and go up to, OK, so it's true, false, true, false. But really, I want to see if I can. Uh, create an array with ones and zeros. So I'm going to go one divided by, and uh, and then hit the F9 key or formulas evaluate. So now I have a one. Notice when I if, eventually I'm going to copy this formula down, and Big Rat will get a, a one right there. <clears throat> Control Z. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put this inside the lookup. Lookup function is awesome. It uh, was around before VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP. So I'm going to say uh, lookup value 1, comma, within that vector. What's cool about the lookup is it can handle arrays. And it's not even bothered by those divide by uh, 0 errors. So lookup vec, so it's looking up the number 1 within this newly created array of ones and divide by zero arrows. The second thing that's so cool about uh, lookup is comma, the result vector can be a different uh, uh, set of cells. So it's going to look up one. It's going to find whatever position it is here, and then it's going to return uh, the item from this column. Now I'm going to highlight this and hit F4. Close parentheses and watch this. I'm not going to control, control 
This is an array formula, but a lookup, boom, 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 does not require Control Shift Enter. 17. So I just enter and double click and send it down. And so there it is. Now, there's no duplicates here. If there were duplicates, then we'd have to do something totally different. But there's no duplicates. Uh, this is a. Uh, in essence, a first column in our lookup table that has a unique identifier, but it there's a, we have to consider that the cases are different because little rat and big rat are, are different. All right, that's case-sensitive lookup. We'll see you next trick.